And prices at the gas pump reaching new highs this week as inflation shows no signs of slowing down. For more on this, we're joined by Republican Congresswoman from Michigan and member of the House Armed Services and Education and Labor Committees, Lisa McLean. Congresswoman, thank you for taking time. So we have record inflation hitting right now, and President Biden, who had a 1.4% inflation when he took office, now at more than 8%, has blamed the pandemic. He has blamed the war in Ukraine, and now he is also blaming Republicans. I want you to take a listen to what President Biden had to say and get your reaction. Take a listen. Now, what's the congressional Republican plan? They don't want to solve inflation by lowering your costs. They want to solve it by raising your taxes and lowering your income. I happen to think it's a good thing when American families have a little more money in their pockets at the end of the month. But the Republicans in Congress don't seem to think so. Congresswoman, he's blaming you. Your reaction. I've never met a man that is so out of touch. And if he's really looking for solutions, I would be happy to meet with the president, as well as I'm sure a lot of my Republican colleagues. And let me share with you maybe a solution. Why don't we open up oil and gas leases here in America, as opposed to restricting them. That would A, help bring the cost of gas down, B, put more money in the hands of the Americans as opposed to the people overseas, and families wouldn't have to be paying $4.35 at the pump. But in order to do that, you'd actually have to stop pandering to the progressives, the Green New Deal pe people, and actually care about the American people and the issues that they're facing at the kitchen table. So President Biden, if you're looking for help, please, you know where to, you know where to find me. I'm in Canon 218. Happy to sit down and give you some suggestions, but let's start with these oil and gas leases. And Congresswoman, you're specifically talking about the Interior Department announcing that they will not tap three uh, leases for sales. Why do you believe they made that decision? I have absolutely no idea. But there again, love to meet with the administration, love to help them through this inflation period. So if you are going to blame it on the Republicans or Putin or Trump or, I mean, let's not forget, we have Democrats in control of the House, the Senate and the presidency. But um, instead of playing the blame game, happy to meet with you and come up with some solutions. Why they're doing that? I think they're pandering to the radical progressives and the Green New Deal people. And I think if you mm -hmm. give, um, get out, if government gets out of the way, gives some power to the the business people in the in America they'll actually figure out how to be productive and this crazy word called and and be more energy mm -hmm. efficient and energy conscientious conscientious it, but the government actually has to get out of the way and start looking for solutions and stop playing this blame game because so it's not real feeling let me ask you about a very practical common issue that americans are feeling we see just this past week that breakfast is getting awfully expensive eggs up 22 percent bacon up 17 percent how do you get the simple grocery store costs down what would be the solution you recommend to the white house for that well, first of all, we have one, we have to fix the supply chain issue. And again, it is extremely overregulated. As I meet with businesses both in my district and around the country, whether it's truck drivers, whether it's restaurant owners, whether it's factory workers, they all say the number one issue is the overreach and overregulation by government. Again, if we get out of the way, if government gets out of the way and stops over-regulating businesses that, quite frankly, we know nothing about, it will open up and it will relieve pressure on the supply chain. Hmm. But we have to get out of the way in order to do that. Yeah. Congresswoman, in just a time, 30 seconds or so we've got left, I do want to just change to another topic, and that is we're seeing some 380 marches across the country in reaction to the leak of the Roe v. Wade decision, and we are seeing also protests at justices' homes. Now, you have U.S. Code 18-1507 that says that that's against the law, but what is your reaction to both the marches we're seeing and the protest at justices' homes? If the Democrats could take a concept and follow it all the way through, it would be 
amazing to me. I mean, it, it would be cats and dogs living together. First and foremost, I believe in free speech and the protests that are happening on the mall is exactly where they need to happen. But when is the Justice Department going to stand up and actually follow the law? We are a land of laws. It says clearly that you are not supposed to intimidate a Supreme Court justice. Um, yep. and, and they're protesting outside their homes. Again, Thanks. it's rules for thee and not for 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 thee and not for me. It's yep. it, we need to go back to following the rule of law. Free speech yep. is what this country was founded upon. So again, the protests at the mall that is fantastic. Yep. But let's actually keep it to to in the constraints of and the we, law. We have a big one happening down on the mall. We are covering that. Congresswoman Lisa McLean, thank you very much for your time.